Beauty. All right, we're at Wild Board Adventures in uh, North Battleford, Saskatchewan here. Um, bull shooting a bear <coughs> uh, grizzly. I don't even know what it's called. It's a short mag or whatever it is. Uh, he's shooting 45 pounds at 28. He's pulling about 27. Roughly shooting a 500 traditional axis with a 150 grain um, northern broadhead solid solid blade so I'll go over my setup tomorrow when I when it's my turn to hunt right now he's just gonna warm up and then we're gonna head out so he's been shooting pretty good so oh looks like we're ready to rock so we'll see you guys in the field we're gonna sit on this hill we're gonna glass the side of the, the water that ridge line and this ridge line behind us right here and you can see you can see them coming down they're gonna go that way around that water right there they're gonna go around that way or they're gonna come this way or through here we've got a good trail right here so once we see them we'll make a game plan but uh, we got to see them first so. Alright guys, morning of day two, Bo is still the batter, well, we got here yesterday afternoon, this is the morning of, well, our first first full day, so, <clears throat> had some good chances yesterday, but couldn't seal the deal, uh, my nephew Clayton, he, he did get one, he shot a, a big sow, uh, 170 pounds or something like that, so, uh, I'll show you some pictures of that, and uh, yeah, Bo's batter up, so let's go Bo, see if you can hit that orange dot.
You missed. What do you mean? I was close. You missed the dot, though. The, the dot would have moved. I said hit the dot. You're not even trying. That's uh, nice of Kelly to put up warm-up shacks for us bull hunters that are cruising around in the snow. I think that's a shooting shack for those guys with guns. Oh, it's a shooting shack, Bo says, for gun guys that just don't want to try, I guess. So. Good job, Kelly. Way to keep them happy. Well, that didn't go as planned this morning. Um, yeah, got close, but not close enough. Seen a whole whack of them. And uh, we're gonna take a little practice shot here. We're just sweating our balls off. Old sure shot. Ooh, nice one. I know. Hit your sleeve and everything. I didn't hit my sleeve. Hit your sleeve. I didn't. Hit your sleeve, but good shot. Dead pig, we're just gonna change up or sweating so it's uh Bo's turn. We gotta get ahead of the head of the L uh head of the pigs and then we're gonna go.
that first shot? No. Second? The first shot definitely slowed you down. Right <gasps> you got him. Pull your arrow. There you go. Let it. I had to put one more in them there. It is what it is, hey bull. All right, nice juicy. I think that's a sow, the dry, a dry sow. The other one had the, the piglets. Yeah, so sweet, Bobo. Yep. Good job. Nice stock. Whew. Okay, guard her down. Take some photos. Man, that's that's a little bit of blood. I'm gonna stop recording now, but good job. I know that's awesome. Yeah, dressed in black. Dressed in black. They they thought I was a boar right till the end. Right till the end. A little snap shooting there, a little snap shooting action. A little left, they'll then the rodeo starts and then finish her off. Cool yeah. man, take take some photos. She ran this way quite a ways. And I had to shoot her again, because I don't think she was stopping. She may have, but I made sure she didn't. That's right, buddy. You didn't go anywhere. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. First boar at Wild Boar Adventures. Super fun stock. Yep. Awesome. All right, let's go get the sleigh. As they say on TV, now the work begins. <laughs> and for, it does. For boat. For boat, it does. Yeah. So for all the guys asking what, what your specs are and stuff like that, Bo is shooting a, a bear, little Kodiak or something like that, I don't even know, 45 pounds of 28, and this is a big stick gremlin, and it's 47 at 27. So we're shooting basically the same arrow, Bo and I, uh, shooting a 500 spine traditional axis. Um, I'm shooting the, a three blade muzzy this trip yeah so that's about it pretty much both shooting 500s um, he has a little bit heavier insert to make the arrows fly a little bit better so yeah that's what's that's our gear list so I am going to take some practice shots because uh, I got the soup boiling there Hot water rocking, had the coffee, and uh, time to bust out the ground then. Rocking a new, new quiver. It's a three bladed four arrow quiver from Gunshy there, so that's why we're shooting a three blade. Three blades aren't my favorite. I like the two blades myself, but I'll test it out on a hog, see how it works. I'm pretty sure it'll work just fine. All right, buddy, solid as a rock. What I do like about the heavier hood is it does quieten your bow down a little bit, a little bit more than the, the thin hood. So I gotta practice. I have a practice head going here. But that's it. No, nope, that's not it. This one. Yep. So and what I do is I get my wrap at the back bit the back side of my riser and then I know my brace height's good and when I take my string off I always twist up my string so it's the same every time so it's gonna take a quick shot here bull Two dead pigs anyway, so we're gonna go deal with bows and then we're gonna hit the bush.
gift of snow today so that's pretty cool quiets it down a little bit super nice out these days <sighs> Bo's got his Murray got one Clayton got a couple actually now it's my turn so this is our last morning here uh, we're set up Murray and Clayton are gonna kind of do a little walk and slowly bump them our way just get them moving uh, yeah haven't had many opportunities seen some of the tree stands uh, no shots drew back no shot uh, drew back on a nice nice one that stood still for a split second and then he took off like he just spun his wheels taking off over there so we're gonna go get set up put a little bait out and hopefully when they get bumped they come over and, and mill around the, the bait got some dog food and stuff so that'll hopefully slow them down and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes we're not after a monster bow shot a monster so we're just gonna go for a regular maybe 100 pounder or something like that so Whatever walks in, it's gonna get shot. That's it here. We're all done. Uh, I didn't get to shoot a boar, but Bo got his first one here, so all is well. It ends well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit us up on Instagram. So we'll see you on the next hunt.